Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. I know my hair is all messy, but it's okay. It's not a hair tutorial. It's a makeup one. So this look is going to be like an emerald green look and I'm going to be using the Desi and Katie Friendcation palette by Dose of Colors. And I am going to be using Dirty Money. This is, oh, this green one. It's so good. It's it Yeah, it looks like Dirty Money. It's like green and then it has some like gold reflex so it's really pretty and let's keep the intro short and get into the look so the first thing I'm gonna do is clip my hair <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna use for my eyes is the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden this is my favorite one I always use it I'm going to get this Sephora Pro Featherweight Crease Brush and it's number 38 and I'm going to be getting this color right here which is called Necessary. I'm going to put this on my crease a little bit higher than my crease. Just blend that all in. Next, I'm using the Luxie 249 brush, but I'm not going to use the flat side. I'm going to use this side, and I am using it with Churro, and it is this color right here. And I am just going to pop that into the crease, a little bit more concentrated than where I put that um, other, the necessary color. Bringing that color all the way in. Now that I have that there, I'm going to go back with the previous Sephora brush and just blend everything together. And with the same brush, I am going to use both sides. And with this flat side, I'm going to get this darker. It's called Sheens, this darker brown. I am going to pat that on the ends of my eye, on the end, in the outside and the inside. Now with this end of the brush, I am just going to blend that dark color into my eye. And this doesn't have, have to be really well done because we're going to cover all of it with the green color. Alright, so now comes the fun part of putting that green, that dirty money all over our eye. And I'm going to be getting a little bit of help from the NYX Glitter Primer. And it's not really a glitter, but it does have some glitter in it. So we want to keep the maximum pigment on there. And so it doesn't come off throughout the day. And this is really going to help it. I'm just going to get a little bit on my finger and tap it on my eyeball. And you will feel when it starts to get tacky because you'll feel like the little stick like <clears throat> So we're going to put it all over the lid even on top of that eyeshadow that we put on. So now you can use a flat brush if you like but I honestly just use my finger and I might go back with a flat brush just to kind of get in my um, crease or get close to my crease but I'm going to be using my finger. I feel like your finger is really good to like um with these colors that have like a little bit of glitter in them or just it I don't know it's just your finger is just really good <laughs> it's the best brush but I am gonna use that flash uh, flat brush to get a little bit closer to the crease. You're probably thinking why did we put that dark brown color if we're just going to cover it up with the green but it makes your eye have like this 3d look 
and it has this like depth to it that wouldn't have otherwise been there if that dark color is not there. Okay, so with the same Lexi brush that we keep on using, I wiped it on a paper towel, the blending end, and we are gonna get some of this gorgeous caramelly color, this churro color, and we are gonna put it on our lower lash line. And we are gonna connect it with the shadow on top. I want to have like um, keep going with the gold theme so I want to have a gold inner corner highlight and I am going to use Rodeo Drive from Ofra Cosmetics. Ofra Cosmetics? Or just Ofra. Oh yeah, Ofra Cosmetics. I'm just getting it with this flat brush. I got it like from Forever 21. Just right there. The next step is going to be curling my lashes and I am going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Mascara. I am going to be using the Ardell Wispy Lashes in style 700 because I don't want a lash that's really dense because I want people to be able to see this gorgeous green color. People have asked me how I can put on lashes and I know it's not an answer that you may want to hear but it's honestly practice. There's a couple things that I do do which is um, the glue, I allow it to dry, that way it's not slipping and sliding, and sometimes it's just easier, like once you have it set, like it'll set right there because the glue is kind of dry and it's not wet, and it's not gonna be all over your eyeball and stuff like that. Another thing is the way I have my mirror, I have it like this, that way I'm looking straight up into my lashes, and my natural lashes won't get in the way of when I'm trying to put on my falsies. And I can better see my lash line so I can get it closer to my lash line. And that way there's not like a big gap and it looks a little bit more natural. But that's all the tips that I have. Hey baby, que pasó? For lips, I'm going to be using... The Kylie Cosmetics um, Malibu Matte Lipstick with the lip liner that it comes with. So Malibu Lip Liner and Malibu Lipstick. That is it for this look. I love this eyeshadow. I know I always, always say that, but I really do like this eyeshadow. Honestly, this palette, amazing. I carry it with me whenever I go on vacation or whenever I want to do my makeup, I always pick up this palette. It's so good. But I, it's a, oh my God, this is 100% a recommendation of mine. And hopefully you guys like this look. Hopefully you guys try it and I'll see you in my next video.